Good morning, everyone. I'm Martin Wenzel. This is American Truck Simulator. We are outside of Fresno, California, and we are hauling this reservoir tank to Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's early 5.13 in the morning. Got the mild winter mod running. Cold rain coming down, 37 degrees. We're going to continue our job. We've got about 930 miles to go. All the way to Santa Fe. We're only making 48 cents per mile on this job. Not the most lucrative contract we could have taken. But it's a nice long job. Get us back into New Mexico. And will earn us about $550. Full disclosure, I did half of this job, or I, I drove until about 12 p.m. on this day in my first attempt to record this video, and I had changed the setting. There's a few more settings in the gameplay settings, and I don't think I've reset them since loading the save up again. But you can change the frequency of random events along with the frequency of rain, and you can set whether uh, time zones are engaged or not. Now, I wanted to try that out, but it seemed to be interfering with Grimes's mild winter mod, and the sun never came up. And actually, even now, it's brighter now than it was at 12 p.m. with the time zones on, because it must have been interfering with uh, his winter mod, so I'm going to have to give him a little heads up about that, see if he can work that into the seasonal mod because it's a bummer that we can't use the time zone thing they just added considering coming out of California going into Arizona we'd be going into mountain time and then at some point in New Mexico I think we go into central time as well and that'd be great to have that reflected in the game but at this point I'd rather have this mod working and the Sun eventually come up and it should be coming up around 8 o'clock, I would think. So let's give it another go. We're taking the 99 south to the 58, the inter interchange with the 58 near Bakersfield. We'll take it over from Bakersfield, 58, to... Well, somewhere by my Barstow, Barstow, California, where we'll get on the north 15 and then jump on to the west or the east, 40, over to New Mexico. Our ETA is about 10 p.m., but we will have to be getting off the road at least, or at the latest, 6 p.m., I would think. So we'll finish this job up on Saturday. Yeah, the time zone thing really 
messed with uh, with the traffic mod as well, I think, because there was a ton of traffic. And it was fun, but it was ridiculous. And I don't know if the... Maybe the time zone thing goes with your computer clock? I don't know. And even that doesn't make a ton of sense. Yeah, maybe that maybe that's what it is. It goes with your clock, which I don't know if you why would you would want that. It's in the Get a little bit of construction work right here. So I'm gonna have to look I'm gonna have to look into that more. What the time zone thing does. I was assuming it was it would do something with the time zone in game as you're crossing between Pacific Mountain and Central Time, but maybe it has something else. Maybe maybe it deals with your onboard computer clock. Maybe that's why the sun never came up. Now we're getting off at the California 58. We're taking a left. That car has a really weird sound. Every time that car comes by, it's got that, uh... The sound of a much, uh... Cooler... Sounding car... Than that car looks. Alright. Are you turning? Alright. Whoa! And this bus came out of nowhere. Now, last time I did this, I kinda caught this guardrail. And I need to turn wide. This is bus rolled up on us. Alright, now we go to Bakersfield. Now, I'm not sure if this is something that came with the realistic roads mod I have or if ATS has added this, but all those little manhole covers and little things that you just that pop up in the road. Really adding an element of realism and I noticed that even when you drive over them, the truck kind of bobs as you go on a dip in the road there, going over a manhole. An access point, grates, gutter. I will stop at this yellow light. I'm trying to be very careful not to get any speeding, red light fines, missing a truck, um, missing a way station fine anything because we want to make some money and eventually be able to take out a loan and buy our own truck which will mean I should take some more lucrative contracts going forward which will probably be a lot of heavy cargo
I don't know why this guy, uh, everyone's slamming on their brakes. And the road does narrow up here, but this guy was really hitting his brakes early. And just like that, the weather clears up. And we can definitely see that turning off the time zones fixed the problem we were having. Got a little bit of road work here. Something's going on. Forty six degrees outside the cab. Looks like a. Well, this guy looked like he was trying to pass and he ran into that bus. I don't know if that was what the slowdown was about, though, but he definitely wasn't patient enough and got caught on the wrong side of the road as the bus was bearing down on him. Take the North 15 to Barstow. Love that car. They always just try to get into your path. See me moving over and he just speeds up. traffic situation here. That we all need to stop, but looks like the AI must go around this car in the left lane. So let's see if we can get over. Okay, well, actually, I don't need to move over. This guy does, but... I don't need to move over. Kill my engine. We have a car pulled over, but it doesn't mean everyone has to move over to the left lane. If it's not safe to do so. 
and with the AI driving the way it does, it's never safe to just move over to the left lane at the last moment. Take right here, go east 40. Another situation here, quite a few uh, events, I don't remember turning the slider up, not sure if I have turned the slider up, but quite a few events here. Oh, we have a crashed, uh, crashed Cessna, wow, or a crashed uh, single, single seat airplane. stopping here for our midday break. It's already 1.30. We need to get a little bit of gas too. Just a little bit. Don't need to fill it completely up. So we're pull in here, get some gas. for a gallon of diesel. That should be enough. Just pull straight in here. Make sure we don't hit any cars along the way. And we'll take a half hour break. Weather has cleared up, or it cleared up, but it's been cloudy most of the day. Alright, so I will see you around 2.05. 
All right, welcome back. It's about 2.05 in the afternoon. Had the half-hour break. So let's get back on the road. Looking at the map, I think we will make it to about Holbrook before we have to get off the road. We'll see where we're at for time. But Holbrook is where I'm shooting for. Might actually need to get off the road way stop before that. Seeing that it's 2.10 already, I'll probably want to get out of this truck about 5, 5.30. Get into a truck stop. So let's continue on our way. crossing the Colorado River into Arizona so we'll be able to go a little bit faster get some more mileage in before we have to rest And another traffic incident. It's just these pulled over cars. I don't know why everyone has to move over for it. Just west of the 93 South here in Change. Whoa. Going on over here. That was a traffic. It looked like a traffic. It must be a traffic accident or something over there. Maybe they're waiting to merge. That's why they're all lined up. All right. So I had I had had the random events turned up all the way to 100 percent, and I just turned it down during our break. To about 75%. I think we're still gonna need to turn it down because there's just a few too many random events that are slowing us down. Weather's clearing up as we go further into Arizona. Uh, not sure what this uh, lumber truck is doing. Moved over to the left lane and is going really slow. There's another exit, new road here. Business 40 to Arizona 66, Grand Canyon Caverns.
or at least a new exit sign. I'm not sure if the whole, you know, we have been to this spot before. Maybe they added a little road that goes over to the Grand Canyon. Definitely some new signs. And last time we were on the 40 up here, we drove down the 93, so we didn't see that sign. Although we did take the 40 over here, didn't we? You know, over uh, west to California, so I'm not sure how we missed those signs going west. So as it gets later in the day, it gets a little bit brighter, more cheerful. Vegetation is kind of burned out from the winter weather, but skies are clearing up, a little bit of blue peeking through. stop in Flagstaff for the night and conclude the job tomorrow. Meaning we should probably get, if we get going about 5 in the morning, should be able to finish the job around noon. I thought we were going to be able to get to uh, Holbrook, but that really would have been pushing it. Stop at the truck stop here in Flagstaff. certainly got nice here in the evening. All right. We are in Flagstaff, Arizona. Taking a rest for the night, it's about 6 p.m. Train's about coming by. Of course, it's just the engine. All right, so we're gonna take a break for tonight. I will see you in the morning, Saturday morning. We'll finish up the job to Santa Fe, New Mexico and discover Santa Fe, New Mexico. So until next time, I'm Mart Wenzel. This is American Truck Simulator. Take care. <laughs>